Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So in this concise note series, today we'll be talking about another important question. You can see here that is what is migration rate and derive the equation for retention factor that is denoted by k. So now today's topic is that the migration rate. So by migration rate we mean that when we talk about the chromatography, we know we use a column and in that column we have stationary material packed. Now the salute the species which have to be separated, they are actually inserted with the column and then we are also passing the mobile phase. So after the some period of time, uh, we see that the species are getting separated. Now migration rate means those species are salutes. With what rate they will actually, they will be getting separated from the column. That's what our question is. So what is migration rate and how, what is their uh, equation? So we'll answer it here. The effectiveness of a chromatographic column in separating the two salutes, let us say we have two salutes, that depends on the relative rates at which the two species, the two salutes, they are eluted. So it depends on the relative rate at which the two salutes at, or the species they are eluted. Eluted means they will come out of the column. So these rates, they are in, in turn they are determined by the ratio of the solute concentrations in each of the two phases. We know in the column we have a stationary phase and then we are pouring above it the mobile phase which is the solvent. So the ratio at which these two species they will get eluted that depends on the concentration of these solutes in each the stationary phase which is packed in the column and the mobile phase which flows to the column. Next para, the retention factor is an important experimental parameter that's widely used to compare the migration of solutes in the columns. For example, we'll take a solute A, the retention factor can be written as Ka, you can see here, and that Ka, basically, that retention factor, its value depends on the ratio of velocity of solute uh, and divided by in the stationary phase to the speed or velocity of salute in the mobile phase multiplied by constant Ka. So in, in nutshell we can say that retention factor is the ratio of the Ts by Tm. It's the ratio of Ts by Tm. That means how much time the salute spends in the stationary phase to the time it spends in the mobile phase. So I can say the retention factor is the rate at which a compound or at which a salute or at which a chemical species it migrates through a column. It's the time spent by that compound or salute in a stationary phase relative to the time it spends in the mobile phase. So this is all about the, the basic uh, which actually uh, we can by which we can understand the migration rate and we can understand the retention factor. Ye do ahem parameters hote hai. These are important two important parameters which are helpful in the chromatography when we talk about the separation of chemical components or separation of a mixture or separation of chemical species. So this was the question for the day. Now you can see in this uh, slide here. Uh, it is written at the top, that's page number 2. Now, there are some lines written. These lines are basically related to the player theory. We have discussed uh, these in the last lecture, but you can also look at here that player theory is beneficial to measure the efficiency of a column. The more theoretical plates available within a column, the more equilibrium is between the stationary and the mobile phases are possible. Hence, you have the better quality of separation. So that was actually the line is related to the uh, last topic. So this is all about the today's question. I have tried to prepare this in the concise manner, keeping in view the requirement of exam, which is uh, the short answer type or the objective type. So this is all for the day. If you have any questions, you can write down in the comments.